New safety data sheet rules are in place from OSHA. Many people are thoroughly confused or frustrated with these SDS changes. Two OSHA experts answer five safety data sheet questions next. Hello, I'm Dan Clark of the Safety Brief, tackling health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites, brought to you by Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% on your safety supply shopping at creativesafetysupply.com. Use coupon code BIG10. OSHA has a new hazard communication standard as of June 1, 2015, but many are stumped by the new rules regarding the safety data sheet. OSHA hosted a webinar to answer HCS questions. To make it easy for you, I've isolated the answers on SDSs. OSHA hazard communication experts Lana Nieves and Sven Rundman took five questions on safety data sheets. Number one, the name Material Safety Data Sheet has been changed to just Safety Data Sheet. Do the old hard copy MSDS books have to be replaced with one stating SDS? Thank you. Employers must maintain the most recent version of an SDS or MSDS. We don't really require what you call it as long as it's training and they can find it and locate it and they know what's inside. That's all we require. Okay. Number two, how do you handle the situation when a manufacturer has not issued the appropriate SDS? Well, you know, on the employer's part, that if they suspect there's a newer version of a safety data sheet, they should be contacting the manufacturer to obtain the most recent version. If there's a little bit of reluctance on the part of the manufacturer and part to provide any new or appropriate SDS, if you believe there is one, the employer does have the right to file a complaint or call the OSHA area offices locally to see about getting some assistance on helping them obtain the SDS. All right. Number three. Are hard copies of safety data sheets still required to be kept in chemical storage areas, or are online versions acceptable? The HCS doesn't specify how the SDS or MSDS is maintained. It can be paper or electronic. However, it has to be accessible in the work area. If it's electronic, they shouldn't have to look it up in Google or Yahoo. And backup procedures should be in place in case if it's electronic, if the electricity goes down or they need to be trained on how to use that computer program. All that has to be addressed if they use an electronic version. Number four, please give us the straight scoop about the employer's responsibilities if a manufacturer is not updating their MSDSs to SDSs. There may be a manufacturer or importer that have not received information to develop 2012 60 day sheets or labels. And basically, the employer just needs to maintain some sort of dialogue with their upstream suppliers determining when they'll be in compliance so the downstream user employer can be in compliance. So basically keep the communication lines open with those the manufacturers or distributors. Okay. And finally, number five, OSHA is not enforcing the pictogram with the fish and tree on it. Will there be any calls made to an environmental agency? OSHA does not enforce because it's outside OSHA's jurisdiction. So we don't enforce it, and we can't really call other agencies on something we don't enforce. That's in our non-mandatory sections of the SDS. All right, there we have important answers to a few safety data sheet questions. Thanks to OSHA HASCOM experts Lana Nieves and Sven Rundman for the info. That's all for this episode, five safety data sheet questions for OSHA. Come back for more ways to stay safety compliant in today's ever-changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% off your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code BIG10.